Hello Diamonds and welcome back to the Green Haven. So today will be the penultimate episodes as uh, tomorrow we will shoot down the space rock in the morning. Of course when I'm talking about it, it doesn't exist, but it will come out eventually during the episode I'm sure. So yeah, we have the plan to kind of get rid of it. And as, as such, it's super quiet here. Like honestly, I don't see anyone else online. And we can even see that many people have been offline quite a while. I mean, True was online just recently. He did buy one more of my uh, big indus industrial barges. But otherwise, it's not really that busy. Like, you can see quite a few of the people have been offline for a few days. So yeah, anyway, I have this load of granite over here, which I want to get rid of. So there's only one place, which is the night at the Roxbury. It's spent on Ocelot's shop. So let's quickly go there. Of course, the pier is kind of small for all the barges. So it's a little bit difficult to park, but not too bad. So yeah, I pretty much finished the uh, uh, mine entrance parts. I did uh, encounter some more bugs, even though we had the game update. So the mod that uh, handles stuff it still causes some issues, so it's not fully out of the box yet. But so far I have not noticed any of the bugs that the game itself has. Well, so far. Well, who knows, maybe next shop visit will introduce some. Who knows? Anyway, we are selling all those. We will be a little bit richer, finally. That's good. Anything interesting for us? Probably not so much we don't do anything. I might get some uh, art supplies later to do some arts. Because with the art that I already have, actually we got rated on those. So Kai came over and gave reputation to three different images that I have. So of course it's kind of difficult to <laughs> see from here which one is which. So let's quickly go down and uh, check from the shop directly, what uh, what images got some extra score? Because yeah, he literally bought everything I had in the shop, almost like anything uh, for decorations and such. So, so I haven't really had any chance to go ahead and make new ones. So we'll leave the truck right here. I kind of dislike how the character always changes the direction now. In nine, it was always the same direction you were looking at. So anyway, so in our shop, which images got rating? So this is the number three. This was rated. That one is number seven, nothing. Four, nothing. Six. This one got rating. And then this one. Okay. Not bad. All the eye level ones. That's that's quite good. But yeah, in the shop I have no couches, no better chairs, no decorations, no elevator call posts. I mean, those I have in my other shop. So maybe I have to take them over. No lanterns, because those I sold myself to his store to get extra money for all the ingredients I required. And yeah, no one is making upgrades. So, so yeah, actually, it kind of makes me have an idea that maybe for the next... Uh, season we would need to make the so-called upgrade shop which kind of automates a lot of stuff maybe even have like uh, uh, some public uh, paper making stuff that people can use just to kind of integrate the system and make it much easier to get things done because if you have to shuffle around with many people then it doesn't really work that well and yeah now i have my upgrade here as well so Let's put it inside so we can make a little bit more paper so we can make whatever else is needed so where was it c okay so i don't know 32 33 yeah 33 can can be done so i'll do all of them i also need more foods getting hungry over time which is oh natural i guess so let's get foods. 
Yeah, there's no no more foods, like new ones. At least I haven't noticed. So there's still something missing because I do know my favorite foods, but I don't know my least favorite foods. So to find out, actually, I think this way I can check it. Um, more details. Yeah, least favorite food I know, but that one, <laughs> no idea. And yeah. So it might be one of the salads. Oh, if it's salads, does this shop still have? Yeah, there's a lot of different things. Let's see. Said meat, no. Tacos, no. Hosomaki, no. Corn fritters, no. El taco, no. Fish and chips, definitely no. Hmm. It's kind of big question for me, like what type of food it could be, because I've tried pretty much everything that I've seen. Hmm. Of course, vegetable medley is kind of a good thing to have all the time. Hmm. Absolutely nothing. Because I've tried everything. That's sad. So we just don't know what I want. <laughs> so if you can't have it this season, maybe next season. Yeah, I will take quite a few of actually just this. Because well, those are bad. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, let's start to head back. Because it is not too much in the city happening. I mean, we could take a look at the buildings, but it's something we can do also when we after we shoot down the big space rock. So instead, I will quickly go back to our islands and, well, do some stuff there. And then I will think what places we discover today to see what the status is. Because, yeah, there's not so much to see. Because, as I said, it's really, really quiet. So, so yeah. Anyway, I will go and do a little bit of stuff on our island and get us ready for, for the final parts of, of this season. So I have finally finished all the work on the, on the old ramp, which well, went that way. It's no longer there. Actually, I did find that the curve, it was a bit too sharp, so I kind of got stuck with my truck there as well. So probably not the best thing to offer to anyone. So yeah, the new ramp is well the best way anyway. And yeah, as such, I also extended the pier, so it's quite big now. It has both of my barges right here. So in front of the shop, there is a little bit free place if anyone needs to come and land here. And yeah, the bottom sign is also up with the barge on it. So yeah. And yeah, if you come to this side, you can go straight up the hill. I do have one extra road there, just so I can go and do some tree cutting. And yeah, I did take down a lot of trees because I wanted to make more of the hewn. And yeah, middle of this road is more solid. I was thinking if I should replace all the edges, but I kind of like this look. It's nicer. I still haven't done any, any more uh, living quarters, but that's fine. So yeah, this is the road. So this goes onto this land here. And yeah, I can just park the truck right here and then run around to get all the trees. It's kind of good. Before it was coming from the top. So literally go from the sea level all the way up and then down. And then you get finally here. So it's a bit better now. And yeah, again, the roof tile, it just, the color is better if you want to make more like dirt looking stuff. And also it does connect nicely with the uh, dirt parts. I wish more of those items did so. And yeah, I also had to put this here to make sure it looks fine. So yeah, and all the way back here, it has the turning around area. So you go all the way here and then you can back down the ends and load it up. So this is the original mine. I think there's this one stockpile here, which well can be used. 
and then when going outside there's another stockpile and there's also a statue I mean there's stuffed bison so so that's pretty much what is here but for the rest of this episode as we still have a little bit of time left I have decided to go and check out certain buildings because uh, before I did uh, check uh, one of the buildings but there's actually two more buildings that I noticed uh, on the same island so if we go on here to the map so we did check out uh, the Destrot's uh, store before but uh, Eik also has the, a place and there's some building there which I want to check out so Let's head there and see what people have built on that island. So I will catch you all in a second. So we are now back on the pier. So let's try to hop up there to see the stores. I hope there is an easier way up because I don't want to go all the way towards the Destros shop because it's too far. So yeah, it's actually quite nice how they have made the roads. It looks more natural by not being straight in any way but yeah so this is the place X smelting importium so kind of interesting place so as far as I understand most of the doors are always closed but uh, well because of the claims those doors are still open so let's go and take a look there's actually a store upstairs that you can uh, enter from back of the building, but as we're already here, then we can check it out. So, uh, quite decent workshop. It has all the machinery here, yeah, quite well laid out. There's plenty of space, extra food. Of course, accessing food is a bit more complicated. It probably would have been better over here or something, but not too bad. Now, if you go upstairs where the actual store is. Ooh, we can see also stockpile right behind the window. But yeah, inside there's all the electronics and small stuff that can be done. Yeah, those doors, of course, are also closed. And if you go even further up, then, well, we see one more stockpile. So now I wonder what is in this building. Because, yeah, we can't really go in, unfortunately. Maybe in the future. Like when people get used to me existing on the server, maybe then we get more permissions. Okay, this building probably isn't even finished on downstairs. It's just like a placeholder, it seems. Okay, not too bad. Around here there's also generator. And back here is melting and water cleaning facilities. Okay, nice. And yeah, all the wastewater will be going down there. Now the other place here, it has all the water generation. It's kind of interesting because it doesn't look like a river. It looks more like a lake. But it seems that it managed somehow to kind of bug out and uh, be allowed as generation location. Because as we know, in Echo 9, uh, the developers, they kind of cancelled the use on any water type of element for the water wheels. So it had to be running water, so all the rivers. Yeah, here we see solar generators. They do make quite a lot of power when needed. So all 600 watts. Which actually doesn't sound that much. Like literally one of those cannot even run my computer normally <laughs> when it's running some big tasks. But otherwise, ooh, open door. So inside, we can see more generators. And yeah, industrial generator. That's huge. So, consuming up to 75. Max output, 16 kilowatts. That's actually kind of decent <laughs> power generation. I do like it. And yeah, all the mechanical pumps and one electric pump. So it's kind of good to compensate. So at least you have enough so you can power up this one before powering all the rest. 
And there's actually one more building which you can maybe quickly check. If we, if you have any entrance, of course. There's a painting inside. Ooh, and open door. It's actually another building, but closed doors. So, so this is the Paratax city. So this is all the foundation, it seems. Ah, and they also, of course, have the image here when a well, church and uh, true were building that place. So we can see that it's kind of like just out of shape at that moment. So yeah, Nightshade has been painting a lot of stuff, it seems. Actually, do we see any information about the paintings from people? Hmm, not really. Okay, yeah, we do. Five works. So yeah, Nightshade has done five paintings so far. And yeah, quite a bit of culture. That's nice. But yeah, so this is the painting that they use over here. Upstairs is the rest of the stuff, like zoning office and all all those thingamajingis, which I really wanted to showcase in the Echo 10 Discovery. But yeah, that save is too bugged, so nothing to save. So I might start a new, uh, new save and then try to go through everything. So first establishing everything by hand. Ah, there's nothing inside. There's no roof even. Anyway, so I think I will leave it here. But yeah, with the Echo then Discovery, I'm still thinking about going back and well, finishing off with the governmental stuff. So we can take a bit more look on the laws and uh, some aspects, what makes it interesting. But otherwise, yeah, the Discovery stuff is getting close to the end. So I also need to do like the meteor shootdown elements so we can test that out there. And of course, then the final thing, crash a meteor and destroy everything. But anyway, uh, over here we have one more episode coming tomorrow. So on Friday, there will be nothing. So yeah, I think I will leave it right here. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.